as approved by the Anambra State as of Assembly. Hello guys, you are welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Here we give you updates of things happening around you and the world as a whole. I want to appreciate everyone who have subscribed to this channel. Thank you for your support. God bless you. If you are here for the first time, please kindly press the red button and also press the bell icon. This is where you get notification whenever I upload a video. Please note that your like and your comment is very, very important to this. Thank you very much for always being here. God bless you all. Now to the news in detail. Anambra new burial laws has approved by the Anambra State House of Assembly. This is the highlight. I'm going to read it one after the other. One, all burial ceremony of indigenous deceased persons must be registered with the TAN Union of the Deceased Persons. Registration fee is 1,500 Naira. And no person must elect erect any billboard, banner, or posters of any kind of diseased persons in the state. 100,000 Naira file or 6 months J term or both for violation. Persons are allowed to erect any directional post such as the ones leading to the venue must not be erected before 7 days to the burial date and must be removed not late than seven days after the burial date. 100,000 Naira fine or six months J term or both for violation. Cups must not be deposited in the mortuary or any other place beyond two months for the date of the burial. 100,000 Naira fine or six months J term or both for violation. No blocking of road street because of barrier except with the approval of the appropriate local government authority no public display of casket for purposes of fabrication and say fifty thousand naira fine or one month j term or both for violation this family must clear a standing levies owned to the community or religious body before the funeral ceremony. There must be no work of any kind for any deceased person in the state. All virgin mark service of songs of religious activities for the deceased persons period to the burial must end by 9 p.m. There must be no food, drink, live band or cultural entertainers during and after Virgin Mark service of songs or religious activities for the deceased person. All burial ceremony for any deceased person in the state must be one day. All burial mark service must start not later than uh, 9 a.m. and must not last more than two hours. No preserved cause must be exposed for more than 30 minutes from the time of exposure. It could be kept in the room under lock and key. All condolence visits after any burial uh, ceremony must be uh, must not exceed one day. During a condolence visit, no person must give to the deceased person's family as a condolence gift any item excluding money, one jar of palm wine, one carton of beer, and one carton of soft drink. No deceased person's family must give out any souvenir during burial funeral ceremony. For Ibu na Uzo Mwada, there must be no demand of more than 10,000 Naira by the median family of the deceased uh, woman. Undertakers for any burial ceremony must not exceed six in number. There must be no dancing with the casket for by the undertakers. Warning of special uniform, also called ashebi, is restricted to. 
immediately family of the diseased person, church groups, and uh, omona were okay. Let me take that again. Immediately, the family of the diseased persons, church group, and any other persons should leave the uh, environment immediately. I don't know what they mean by that. Then, provision of food, drinks is not compulsory. It is, it is had the destruction of the bereaved family. No barrier on any local uh, market day of the town. No barrier on a home market day. Umwe day of the deceased person's family must stay only on the day of the week and the burial funeral. No more custom of the youth demonstrating with the picture of the deceased person within the town. No destruction of crash. Uh, cash crops, economic plants, uh, household utensils, properties by Indian youth, condolence, visitors, masquerade, or any other person. No use of any type of guns except a bandy. I think that should be a gunpowder also. That gunpowder has got a bandy. The, okay. All condolence registers during any burial ceremony must be kept at a convenient corner on the premises. There shall be no second funeral rites after burial except the in case of legacy. Commissioner for land is required to create state burial grant in every community. Rejected corps and unidentified corps will be buried there. A rejected corpse is a corpse de de disposed, uh, deposited in a mortuary for more than two months. Every mortuary attendant is bound to report to the Ministry of Health any corpse that has stayed beyond one month from the date it, it was deposited. Failure to notify the government is an offense. There must be monitoring and implementation committees. Members will be paid such remuneration as may be determined by the town union of the town. The town monitoring committee is responsible for that one. Registering of death in the town. Two, giving clearance of every burial uh, ceremony in the town and submitting records of the implementation of the law to the Department of Town Union and Chief Tens Matters in the state. The implementation committee must be present at any burial ceremony to observe the implementation of the law. Obstruction of the community committee is an offense and attracts a fine of 50000 Contravention of the provisions of law is an offense punishable by 100,000 naira fine or six months jail term. Magistrate court has jurisdictions to try uh, offenses under the under the law. Well, this is interesting. Hello guys, what's your take on this? These are the highlights of a new Anambra State Burial Law. They say all burial uh, ceremonies of indigenous diseased persons must be registered with the town union of the diseased person. And the registration fee is 1,500. According to the law, no, no person must erect any billboard, banner or posters of any kind of uh, diseased persons in the state, 100,000 naira fine or six months J term or both for violation. The law also said that persons are allowed to erect any uh, directional post such as the ones leading to the venue must not be erected before seven days to the burial date and must be removed not less than seven days after the burial date. If not, 100,000 naira file or six months jail or both for violation. 
So hello guys, what's your take on this uh, new Anambra uh, burial laws, which has been approved by the Anambra State House of Assembly? Please kindly drop your comment in the comment box below. And don't forget to uh, leave your comment, like, and uh, subscribe. Thank you very much for listening here. Bye for now. Thank you.